All right, folks, welcome to the video. So I put a poll up on my YouTube community tab about tool reviews and did you guys want to see them? It was a resounding yes. So I thought I'd have a little look around the internet and see what I could find to review. And I found this little beauty. So it's a nine inch London narrow trowel by a company called Bond. Uh, lovely, lovely handle on it, a wooden handle. I must say, I've always been a Marshalltown fanboy. Uh, I do like Marshalltown and uh, I've always preferred the rubble handled grip. So it's gonna be hot tomorrow. So it'd be interesting to see how this performs. And I've always used quite a big trout, uh, but as I'm getting a little bit older, uh, I thought, you know, it's important to look after yourself. So I give this one a little spin and see how we get on with it. So I think it's gonna be perfect for pick and dipping. Uh, is size important? Does size matter? Well, I guess we'll find out tomorrow. So I'm going to lay a few bricks with my bros tomorrow uh, and then we're off to watch the mighty Swindon town. And then as if by pure fate, someone actually asked me to review laser levels on the channel. Uh, don't often use laser levels, but by pure coincidence, a company called Lasgu kindly sent me this. So it's a, a laser level. So I'm going to be reviewing this, not tomorrow, because we're just doing a brickwork plate lift. But literally my dad's just whizzed in the office and this just arrived just literally just as I was recording this video. So uh, it's an LG 3D laser level by a company called Lasgu. And they've also sent me a discount link as well for you guys with quite a bit off. So it's not featuring this video. It's going to be in another one a bit further down the line. Uh, but uh, we'll give that a spin. But first up on the list of things to review is this little nine inch London narrow trowel with the wooden handle and we'll see how it goes tomorrow morning. So I'll catch you on site in the morning. We'll get the muck on the boards and we'll see how the pick and dip goes with this little beauty. I'm looking forward to it. See you there. Are you uh, are you labouring for us today? Or are you going I am to... labouring. It's not Glastonbury, is it? It is not Glastonbury, <laughs> but so we take... get the music pumping. So let's um, take us through your outfit, mate, please. Um, Boots, steel toe. Oh, you've got steel toe caps on, that's a yeah, good that's, start. That's Have you got a high vis on or is that uh, like a mankini? High vis. Yeah, high vis tied up incorrectly. Made. Yep. Is that, then, uh, is that a, an official safety approved hat liner you've got on there or is that from. Um, um, I'm not too sure if it's. Is that, what's approved. his name? Bez. Who's Matey Boy? The, man, the lad from Manchester? Paul, no. Yeah, Bez. Yeah, is it Bez? Bez. 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 He looks oh. like Mabel done gla Glassmere when he got up on the stage with uh, with that day. Remember when he got him up on the stage? Glassmere. Yeah. He looks like huh? someone that Alex. 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 Yeah. He looks like someone that Goldie looking Jane. And what does that say on your pants? Wind powered. You can what? see powered yeah. by what, mate? Powered These by. These are my Christmas wind boxes. Powered <laughs> by. Well, it's, it's, I mean, wind powered by what? Christmas. I, I ain't sure I can do today. I ain't sure I can do today. Right, I'm off. Wind powered by sprouts. Powered by sprouts. I mean, <laughs> I turn them right and then look at all this little stuff we've taken up onto the scaffold. There you are. What's, yeah. what's you taking up? Sun what cream, trial? mini trowel, two Red Bulls, and water. Yeah. You got oh, a shovel and yeah, bucket? Yeah, they're running. Oh, what's right. the little trowel for? That's for hitting the stuff, getting the bucket clean. Right, getting hit. all the mock out. That's for hitting the stuff. Well, hitting the balls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, okay. I, I don't I'm know about today. today. What you got there, Lamb? What kind of monster? Yeah, monster uh, punch. Right, so I'm going to ask everyone's opinion today. Do, does size matter, Liam? In regards to what? What do you think? What do you mean? Trout no, definitely, oh, right. no, no, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> not for anyone here. No, trout size. No. <laughs> no, 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 definitely not. Trout size, Ted. Do you think trout size matters? Yeah, I got a new one coming, mate. One's too small. Well, you got too small now, is it? <laughs> yeah. Paul, what, what size trout you got? Trowel, I said. 1911. 1911. <laughs> My missus says it doesn't matter. <laughs> trying to make you feel better, mate. So we're going to run through. I got a new little trowel today. Is <coughs> that a look? A brand new like that. Where'd it? you get that from? SB Tools. Nine inch London by a company called Bond. What do you reckon, Chop? Check it out. Yeah, nice. No, right. Looks alright, to be fair. We'll soon see today, won't we? Should we go back and get some profiles? Yeah, no, actually, I've got one at home, that. Yeah? Sim, okay. like, it's slightly bigger. It's nice, isn't it? It is nice. How much was that? How much that cost? That was £44.99. <laughs> yeah, nice. So no, I have no, a little, I'm going like to have a little go with that today, and we'll see how we get on, and then we will really see if size does matter, won't we? Have you shown Paul's new scooter? Uh, no, I have to. He could definitely do with one of them when we're in Spain, 100%. Good one of them around the village. <laughs> yeah, that's what we thought you went to the shop on. Good one, leaving, leaving the Prince of Wales. 
Yeah. Right, so Saturday shift, we're at one of our jobs which is nearing completion, so we thought we'd just come in today and try and get it done because we've got a couple of new jobs starting and um, this one needs to be wrapped. So we're off to watch Swindon Town later, unfortunately, but uh, I'm sure it'll be a good crack. And we're going to give the Bond nine inch narrow London trowel uh, a run for his money and we'll see how we get on with it. So all the crews here, Liam, Paul, Carl, and then we've got Ted who's featured in previous episodes. Ted and we've got Baz. My and we got Baz from the Happy Mondays. That's it. That's who I was thinking of. Is it Baz or Bez or whatever? Bez, his name is. is it Bez? Bez. Bez you reckon Paul any good or not? I don't think yeah. it's official name really but nice little uh, nice size. Yeah. You know, as you get a bit older, you've got to look after yourself, haven't you? You know what I mean? What's Carl got here? Carl's <laughs> <laughs> <Kyle's>, Carl's <Kyle's>, uh, <laughs> relic. Carl's got a shovel. Carl's <laughs> 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 got something he found in his. Tell you, show him Carl's tool bag. And then, Kyle, and then Carl just goes, right, come on, lad, this won't take long. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get out there, set some profiles up. It won't be though, will it? So, Carl, where did you get this tool bag from, uh, coincidentally? Where, where well, our apprentice scheme, that's what they have. So, <laughs> I I got one. I got. You, you got me to order you one. Yeah, right. You? And then I just added a few bits. Like, what, from other people's tools? Yeah. Bags. So, right. I think I got half Liam. Yeah. What, um, what is that? That's the that's the state of profile, that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I mean what are you putting right? You got my two inch bolster This in is um this is when I was um, down Nuki uh, catching crabs. <laughs> well, <laughs> crabs. Um this so, is do you two see the same barber? What's going on? Look, yeah. you've got the fade on, but no. I bet you've been to see the Turks, haven't you? No, that is, uh, you got hair. <laughs> no, these were the, these are the um, Arabs who've done this. The Arabs. The right, Arabs. let's get up there on the left and have a look and see what we're building, shall we? Uh, Liam's laughing at me. That's coming to these. Because um, I look like an idiot, but anyway. Why do I look like an idiot? Well, I'll tell you why. Look, GoPro up, GoPro to the max. Things I do for YouTube. Um, anyway, yeah, so we're going to run some block work in uh, and then we're going to run some brick work in, we think, but we'll just play it by ear, really. And we'll have a little look, see how we get on. Um, so I'm going to give the, the little Bon nine inch narrow London brow a little whirl and we'll see see how we get on so the forklift driver is finally here uh, glad he can join us How is the uh, new travel, though? Yeah, it's alright, mate, yeah. <laughs> what? 
What mate did you think it was? Aragni. Aragni? Yeah. Ragni, and it R A G N I R N I, sorry. Ragni. Fun funnily enough, I did put something on my YouTube poll about what trowel do you use and I put if you use a Ragni can you please unsubscribe. Sounds like a curry. And there was actually there was actually quite a few people that um, that use that brand. Just sorry to interrupt you, but can you hear how fast um, Ted's joining up? <laughs> I'm surprised with the size of these perps because uh, the bricks are quite small. So, but yeah, the trowel's are right. Yeah. yeah. What, so, what? Uh, sorry, what brand of trowel is it? So this is a Bon. Bon. Yeah, as in Bon Appetit. Oh right, I thought you meant James Bon. Yeah, no, as in B O N. Uh, I purchased it from Amazon, forty-four quid. Are you, what uh, method of laying are you using? Pickling, oh, dipping. So, um, I'm not a pickle dipper. I like a bit of pickle dip, I must admit. But um, but yeah, so I've had a go at pickle dipping today because uh, because it is the fastest method. I think. One hundred percent it is. Uh, it's a good size trowel for pickle dipping, I think. Yeah. So are you going to earn anyone of this for super trowel next year? Well, I've entered. You've entered. Yeah. Do you I think you'll compete with Charlie Collison? Well, they what they're doing is because of the YouTube star, they're yeah. giving me a hundred brick extra star. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. um, and no deductions. So, you're, yeah. Jake, you're Jake Tony. <laughs> <laughs> so no, but I think it's a good crowd. It's all right. Look. So look, just come in on it. Yeah. Sorry, hang on. Let you sit. Not uh Decent size, easy on the wrist, nice for picking and dipping. Get in the cavity, the cavity's big here, it's one to eight this cavity. Um, but it's quite good for getting behind the bricks and what have And I think uh, size is important, but bigger is not necessarily better, in my humble opinion. There was a competition for fastest joiners. I think Ted would have it. <laughs> These bricks, the, uh, the perks are quite big, but they um, joint up quite nice, aren't they? Super. Do you think anyone would get near Charlie Collison next year, Tony? Um, Bit premature, I know, but what do you think? Uh, Is he starting to practice already? I think there's a lot of people that think it's easier than it than it would appear. Yeah. It's not, that was, you know, don't get me wrong. It's a Britain competition. You know, we're not saving children's lives here. But um, you know, it's like when I get that camera out on site. You know, some people crumble. You know, and when you've got two, three hundred people watching that, you know, the pressure's on. And I think the competition's only going to grow. Now there's regional heats, which means only the best of the best are going to get into the final. Is that from next year? That's, that's the 2024 regional heats. Uh, which have already started. So what, well, the regional heat though? Regional heat, en entries, entries are in, and, um, and they'll be starting soon. So we are going to get down to the best of the best, if you like. Uh, I don't know, a lot of people take it very personally, this competition. They, some of them said it's an insult to past generations. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how that works, to be honest. But um, yeah, I think everyone needs to get a bond on a narrow London trowel and, uh, and they stand a chance of winning. I'm a Marshall Town man personally. You're a Marshall Town? Yeah. yeah, what shape is this? An egg one. A what? An egg shape. I don't, really, that's, I don't that's, know. That's London. I got that from SV Tool down in Weymouth there. Wait, well, how long you had that? A few years now? <laughs> no, I just said you said that, right. believe it or not. <laughs> so yeah, but um, yeah, a bit of picking dipping today. Give me old Bond. Yeah, I'm very impressed with this tramp. They're, me tone, they're putting the line up without even finishing. All right, nice one, lads. Well, <laughs> you know, we are recording a bit of YouTube, so it's like, not really their fault. But uh, I've got two more bricks today. Um, so yeah, but yeah, it's a big um, thumbs up for me. And there'll be a link to it on my YouTube descriptions, right? So, where did you, do you, sorry, where did you purchase it? it? Sorry, Amazon. Where? From Amazon. Ah, right, so okay. if you follow my link, I will get a kickback of about 30p. <laughs> <laughs> right? So yeah, but I think it's, uh, I think it's a good little trap. Yeah. Thumbs up from me. Right, that's a wrap, folks. So, does size matter? 
yeah I think it does to be honest absolute pleasure using this today highly recommended 45 quid on Amazon uh, so it's a bon uh, nine inch narrow London trout uh, very nice to use so um, nice bit of pick and dipping today uh, not not a pick and dip expert by any stretch of the imagination always been a Marshall Town fan never used anything different but uh, very impressed and I think with a little bit of uh, practice I think it'll become very good trouble is I don't lay enough nowadays but still nice to keep my hand in and I like working with my brothers and that's it's normally a good crack so I'm off now to take my nephews out to watch your footy so thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time out peace